My glare has burned through her. And I'm sure that such actions aren't foreign to her because the essence of her beauty is, well, the essence of beauty. And in the presence of this higher being, the weakness of my masculinity kicks in, causing me to personify my wannabe, big baller, shot caller, God's gift to the female species with shiny suit, rapping, rapping, like, hey, yo, what's cracking, shorty, how you living, what's your sign, what's your size, I dig your style, yo. Now, this girl was no fool, she gives me a dirty look with the quickness, like, boy, you must be stupid, so I'm looking at myself like, boy, you must be stupid, but looking upon her, I am kind of feeling her style. So I try again, but instead of addressing her properly, I blurt out one of my fake-ass playlistic lines, like, girl, you must be a traffic ticket, because you got fine written all over you. Now, now, she's trying to leave, and I'm trying to keep her here, and so with a final attempt, I blatter, girl, what is your ethnic makeup? See? At this point, her glare was scorching through me. And somehow she manages to make her brown eyes resemble some kind of brown fire or something. But there's no snap or head movement, no palm to face, click of tongue, middle finger, roll of eyes, or girl power chant. She just glares at me with these burning eyes, and her gaze grabs me by the throat, and she says, Ethnic makeup? First of all, makeup just an anglicized, colonized, commodified utility that my sisters have been programmed to consume, forcing them to cover up their natural state in order to emanate when another sister looks like in her natural state, because people keep telling her that the other sister's natural state is more beautiful than the first sister's natural state. At the same time, the other sister isn't even in her natural state because she's trying to imitate yet another sister. So in actuality, the natural state that the first sister was trying to imitate wasn't even natural in the first place. Nah, I'm thinking, damn, this girl's kicking knowledge. But meanwhile, she keeps spitting on it like, fine. I'll tell you about my ethnic makeup. I wear foundation, but not that powdery stuff. I wear the foundation laid by my indigenous people. It's that foundation that makes it so that past being globalized, I can still vocalize with confidence I know where my roots are. I wear this foundation not upon my face, but within my soul. And I take this from my ancestors, because I'll be damned if I ever let a European or American corporation tell me what my foundation should look like. And I don't wear lipstick, but my lips stick to the ears of men so they can experience and surround sound my screams of agony with each lash of rulers, measuring tape, and scales as if my waistline and weight are inversely proportional to my value as a human being. See, my lips, they stick, but not together. Rather, they flail open with flames to burn down this culture that once kept them shut. And I don't mess with eyeshadow, but my eyes shadow over this timeline where you've gone to end to keep me blind, but you can't cover my eyes, look into them. My eyes foreshadow change. My eyes foreshadow light. And I'm not into hair dying, but I'm here dying because this oppression just won't get out of my hair. They form these highlights on my past atrocities. They tangle around my mind. This oppression that manifests is stressing me so that even though I don't color my hair in a couple of years, it'll look like I dyed it gray. So what's my ethnic makeup? I don't have any because your ethnicity isn't something you can just make up. And as far as that shit that my sisters put on their faces, that's not makeup. It's make-believe. I, I, can't, I, can't, I can't seem to look up at her. And I'm sure that such actions aren't foreign to her because her expression shows that she knows that my mind is in the trance. As her footsteps fade, my ego is left in crutches. And rejection never sounded so sweet. I hope you enjoy this film I made when I was only 16. To see the short films that I'm making today, come check out my Instagram at womenlystateofmind, where women own their stories.